there is a very good chance that some of the coins in your portfolio might never make it back to all-time highs as the cryptocurrency markets is out with the old and in with the new. And one of those new protocols is Near Protocol. In this video, we're going to talk about why Near still potentially has a 20x left. We're going to take a look at some Near charts. Near against Bitcoin, how has it performed towards the end of the video? And I'm also going to share exactly why I believe Near Protocol still has a big year ahead to finish off 2024. Let's jump right in. Why am I still so bullish on Near? Well, the first one is their on-chain metrics. So Near Protocol keeps growing in total value locked and adds 18 million users. These are things, some of the things you should be paying attention to when you're evaluating. Should I add more to my position? Should I close some positions? Should I completely ditch a cryptocurrency? No matter what the prices are doing, what is happening under the hood in the engine? Are they continuing to grow? And your protocol is continuing to grow. As you can see here, some of the key takeaways from this article, Near Protocol has seen substantial growth in its token price, TVL, and transaction volumes going back to early 2024. And if you've been watching this channel, you've been stacking Near Protocol around $1. So you're still up around 4.5x. The launch of Chain Signatures and Here Wallet. Uh, here, while its Telegram integration have enhanced Near's accessibility and user experience, and the increased use of stable coins, it's a pretty big one, in Near's DeFi ecosystem suggests a strategic move to reduce volatility and enhance user ability. I am all about, we talk about bringing in the next wave of users. Well, what are you doing to bring them in? And what are you going to do to keep them in the ecosystem? And Near Protocol and Solana are my two favorites in that area. Now, stable coins are the lifeblood of any DeFi economy. And so Near Protocol has a lot of things going for it. It's got the interoperability narrative. It's got the uh, stablecoin narrative. And it's got the AI narrative. And we're going to talk about stablecoins really quick. So two things they're doing here. One is the centralized route with things like USDT and USDC. You can see here uh, from Crypto.com's X handle, deposits and withdrawals of USDC via Near have just been enabled on the Crypto.com app. So Near does have a native USDC on their chain, which uh, some top projects, believe it or not, don't have USDT or USDC. Near is not one of them. And the other route they're going is the decentralized route via Frax Finance. So how does Frax help? Decentralized AI works best with decentralized money. We have seen more than 5.5 million Frax bridged and supplied to top near DeFi projects, Borough Finance and Finance Ref. Uh, SFRAX and SFR ETH are top yielding USD and ETH assets will also be powering the near DeFi ecosystem beyond existing FRAX assets. We're collaborating with near to launch uh, FRAX near a near stable coin and liquid staking derivative. It will deliver the top tier performance we've achieved with our ETH liquid staking derivative. Uh, their SFRX ETH. We're also working on native issuance of FRAX and SFRAX on near now FRAX. Almost a billion dollars in TVL, a pretty big player in the world of decentralized finance. So 788 million of total value lock with 191 million uh, in market cap. Token price is around $2.38. Of course, we know they're big again in DeFi and their own stable coin as well. Um, one of the other things, uh, and again, this kind of gives a recap, and I'm actually going to share with you the actual report from the near uh, near foundation on the metrics that near protocol has seen in the first half of 2024. So here from Flipside Crypto, data shows near protocol is in the middle of an explosion in usage, 258% TVL growth, 163% transaction volume growth, and 18 million new addresses. They break it all down, and here it is from the near foundation. Couple of things highlighted here: near protocol's TVL has roughly tripled. Since the beginning of the year, Near's transaction volume saw uninterrupted upwards growth towards the first half of 2024. Near attracted the second most new users on any recorded chain in Q1 of 2024. Near's quarterly new wallet growth has similarly surged, surpassing Binance Smart Chain in Q2 of 2024. And Near's on chain activity is mostly driven by existing users rather than new entrants. Now, this is very, very unique, and I'll tell you why. We talk about, hey, uh, retail is not here yet, and by all means, they're not. You take a look at metrics like us as a YouTube channel, we're not seeing that retail viewer, the big, massive rise and uptick in viewership. 
We're not seeing that big, massive rise in price. We're not seeing new wallets created at the level we saw back in 2021 with the bull market in terms of retail. So if the growth is driven by mostly existing users, what is that growth going to look like when we finally have retail in? And so this says a lot about the protocol, that they're able to keep and retain the people that are already in their ecosystem. It means they're doing something right. Another big narrative for Near is AI. A lot of people don't realize that Near Protocol was actually originally founded as an AI company with both their co-founders with deep ties to Microsoft and AI and semiconductors. So Near Protocol leads AI innovation with user-owned ecosystem. This Post here from Global Coin Research. Exciting news from near the hub for user owned AI is gearing up to revolutionize AI with its upcoming phase of development, aiming to empower users and innovate beyond centralized tech giants. Here's how near plans to lead the charge. It envisions itself as the premier ecosystem for open and permissionless AI. Talks about their prior work with chain abstraction and how they're going to integrate that into a decentralized AI economy. In the short term, Near Foundation will invest its core in core infrastructure, such as data collection, compute, and novel monetization methods to support the growth of an AI ecosystem on Near. Long-term plans include establishing Near.ai Research and Development Lab, led by co-founders Alex Gidinov and Ilya Polosukin, to pioneer user-owned AI infrastructure and develop innovative consumer applications, which I am fully confident that they will because they've proven to do so uh, previously. Now, this is from the near.ai website. Three things I've highlighted here from their, quote, master plan. Uh, teaching machines to code, the AI developer. Use AI developer to teach machines to do the research and use the AI researcher to advance science towards artificial general intelligence that is owned by all. Now, this is the ethos, the thesis behind why Fetch, Ocean, and SingularityNet decided to merge together under one artificial superintelligence token, which, by the way, if you're not familiar with that and you want to know what's going on with the merge, we did do a video. I'll drop it in the, com in the uh, description of this video. So it's got all these things going for it. On top of all the metrics growing, let's take a look at Near Protocol's current price and why I think this thing could still potentially have a 20x left currently sitting at around $4.50 with a market cap of, let's call it $5 billion. Tokenomics are excellent. 1.1 billion near tokens currently circulating out of a total of 1.18. So that's about 92%. Now, near protocol does have a little bit of inflation. Let's take a look at their token unlocks and uh, what can we expect? So you can see here. So this, uh, the unlocks that are still left include Epoch rewards, which is normal. Community grants, so why is this important? Uh, community grants, give money to the community, give money to the developers, people that are building on the blockchain, people that are building in the ecosystem. Though That money is going to continue to be unlocked. You also have core contributors. You can really point to this one and say, hey, this one is probably the one that we might see a little bit of sell-off, but it's so minimal and stretched out that I don't think it's going to have that big of an impact of something else, let's say Ripple or XRP, where they offload about a billion tokens every single month from their escrow account that obviously has downward pressure on the price action. And the last one that is still left to be unlocked are operation grants, nearly 8.9% of their total supply. Now, good news is all of these end around mid-2025. And so after that, uh, we shouldn't see any more inflation for near protocol. But again, you take a look at the very next unlock is happening on August 4th in 26 days, and it's only 0.87% of their market cap. You see some coins that unlock 2 to 3 to 4% of their total market cap, and we see the price action uh, show that when we take a look at the price moving down when this happens. Now, let's take a look at how near protocol has fared against Bitcoin. This is near versus Bitcoin on the weekly. We can see here from the uh, towards the middle of October of last year, 2023, Near Protocol had a massive surge against Bitcoin after seeing a massive spill off going into the bear market. Uh, we could take a look at, I've drawn the fibs from where the move started to where we topped out. And I want to point to the 618 level here on the Fibonacci retracements. And this has held as very, very good support for Near Protocol's price action against BTC, and we are not too far off. So I can argue that we are 
either towards or already at the bottom of near protocol versus BTC. So we sh should start seeing as the markets continue to rise or as they start to gain steam again, near protocol continue to rise and outpace the valuation and the, uh, the, the accruement of Bitcoin. Take a look at the near protocol price chart. So we're at a very key level or we're, or getting close to a very key level on the volume here, which is right around $4, $3.50 to $4.10. This is on the weekly. I do want to drop off this VRVP and take a look at the Ichimoku cloud. We are still in an uptrend on the weekly for near protocol. If we zoom out to the, or if we zoom into the daily, of course, everything is down and in a downtrend. Uh, so if we do, when, once we do start seeing a move up, I would expect a media resistance between $5.60 and $5.65, as that is the lower bound of the cloud. On the other side, going back to the weekly, if we do see more downside, we should see extremely strong support right around this $3 level. Let me tell you something. If near protocol gets to $3, uh, I will be doing some massive rearrangements of my portfolio to free up some capital to get more into near protocol. Then we take a look at what can near protocol really get to. We take a look at a $5 billion market cap. I still believe that near protocol can get to a hundred billion dollar market cap, which is around a 20 X from here. So around, let's just call it a hundred dollar near protocol. It's 90 to hundred dollar near protocol. It's got a lot of things going for it. It's got the brand new coin narrative. I know it was here last market cycle, but near protocol really started running towards the tail end of the last market cycle before it started spilling off. Nothing was really in place, no chain abstraction. The AI narrative hadn't taken off yet. You have AI, DeFi, you have stable coins. You have a very Solana-esque focus on users, but not only do they focus on users, they also focus on bringing developers into the ecosystem by doing things like, A, providing them 30% of the gas fees of any dApp they've developed to get a kickback to incentivize people to build great products, to bring them into the near ecosystem. Not to mention the ease of developing on the near blockchain as they allow the most common programming language, JavaScript, to be used to write smart contracts in their platform and of course, we talk about AI. We know we saw uh, uh, Ilya Polosukin, the co-founder of Near Protocol, go to a conference, uh, invited to a conference uh, by NVIDIA, by Jensen Huang, the founder and CEO of, uh, of NVIDIA. So it's got a lot of things going for it. We still think Near Protocol has a massive run ahead. Don't look at the past, past price action. Look at what is actually happening and try to forecast and extrapolate what's going to happen when retail comes in which blockchain they're going to flock to, our bet is near as at the top of that list. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.